Board, uh, and I wish to thank the House for the opportunity to discuss the very positive response on the part of the education system and school communities to those seeking refuge in Ireland. The very best and most insightful aspect of my job as Minister for Education is the opportunity which I am afforded to visit schools right across the country. In nearly every school that I visit, there are students who have recently arrived to Ireland either from Ukraine or those arriving through the IPAS system. These are children and young people who are compelled to leave their homes, oftentimes leaving behind family members of their own. Too many have witnessed unspeakable tragedies. For these young people, school is now a place of normality, a place where they can achieve some semblance of a routine and hopefully focus on their well-being, their friends and their education. This is only made possible as a consequence of the incredible generosity and dedication of principals, teachers, SNAs, school secretaries, school caretakers, fellow students, boards of management, broader school and local communities. As a department, we are determined to continue our support for these huge efforts we are seeing from our school communities right across the country. Members will appreciate the scale of the response indeed when we consider that well over 65,000 people have arrived in Ireland from Ukraine alone since the beginning of the war almost one year ago. Figures show that over uh, 14,500 children from Ukraine have now enrolled in schools in every county across the state. To date, approximately 9,000 children from Ukraine have enrolled in primary schools, whilst over 5,000 are in our post-primary schools. Among the Ukrainian children and young people who are here, this represents an enrolment rate of 93%, one of the highest rates amongst our European peer nations. I've always known, and indeed I have said, that education relies on a partnership-based approach and one in which we all work together to provide for our children and young people. As a consequence, the Department moved immediately to establish regional education and language teams, or RAILTS, right across the country to, to coordinate school enrolments for Ukrainian families. The remit of RAILTS was subsequently extended to also include supporting children that are in the international protection system. And I want to acknowledge the superb work of the RAILTS teams. Schools that are catering for children fleeing war in Ukraine and other migrant children are provided with resources to ensure that those children are supported in their education. Additional teaching resources have been granted to support schools in their work. Additional special education needs, supports and advice and support and well-being have also been provided. Of course, the issue of appropriate language supports is perhaps a, a, an important one. The allocation of specialist resources to schools takes account of the needs of pupils in this regard. And figures show that nearly 2,000 schools have applied for and are now receiving EAL teaching resources. As I said at the outset, our schools have done an incredible job. We have had capacity within our schools. We're conscious that uh, that capacity is challenging in some places more so than others. And we continue to work with um, Minister O'Gorman and his department in terms of meeting any challenges going forward. On the whole, uh, Lath uh, Cahirlik, I want to say we owe an incredible debt of gratitude to our school communities for the excellent work they do every single day. Thank you.